Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 things NASA doesn't want you to know. So, NASA is the United States space program. It's the best funded space program on Earth. And many say the most accomplished, seeing as they were first to go to the moon, among other things. But there are some things NASA simply does not want you to know. From them covering up various mysterious things to a secret space shuttle. Before we blast off, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have X-37B. So NASA sent many space shuttles up into space. Some of these are so high profile they even broadcast them live on YouTube and on TV. But did you know that NASA have a secret space shuttle they barely ever acknowledge? It's called the X-37B, and it was developed by the Air Force and NASA in 1998. After 12 years, it was finally finished in 2010, and ever since 2010, going right up to right now, it's been doing many missions. The X-37B is a secret space shuttle sent all around space, but no one knows what it's doing. NASA barely ever acknowledge it, and when they do acknowledge it, they don't tell anyone what it's for. It's been used in missions for the Air Force, NASA, and also DARPA. For those who don't know, DARPA stands for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It's all about very advanced technical projects to protect the USA, but no one's quite sure what protecting the USA really entails. Many say the true purpose of the X-37B is to spy. That's right, the most popular theory is that it's a reconnaissance spacecraft. Many say it could be used to spy on either Russia or China, and some say it could also be keeping tabs on the Middle East. Seeing as it's in space, it's likely able to target more than one territory at once. But the truth is, NASA has never revealed to anyone what the real purpose of the X-37B actually is. Next up, we have Challenger Cover-Up. So, sometimes when rockets are sent up into space, it doesn't work out. For example, SpaceX's rockets often fail and explode, but there aren't people on those rockets. Well, in 1986, NASA was responsible for the worst ever space shuttle disaster. This was the Challenger spacecraft, which exploded mid-flight with a full cabin crew. Sadly, everyone aboard the Challenger spacecraft passed away. However, NASA were quick to say that all the crew would have been unconscious by the time the cabin exploded. This meant they would have felt no pain and wouldn't have been conscious when they passed away. This kind of softened the blow for NASA. However, after the Challenger incident, the Roger Commission was opened. The point of this commission was to look into the Challenger spacecraft disaster, and the Roger Commission revealed NASA did not take the precautions necessary. They said that many engineers had warned NASA against doing this launch, but NASA ignored the advice from engineers and went ahead with it anyway. The Roger Commission also said that the crew would have been conscious and would have felt immense pain when they passed away. So NASA tried to cover this up by saying the pilots wouldn't have felt anything when really they were awake and conscious the entire time. This is a very troubling fact and it makes you wonder what else NASA may be lying to us about. Next up we have Operation Paperclip. So Operation Paperclip affected the entire USA government. But many people don't know it actually affected NASA as well. Following World War II, Operation Paperclip was launched. That is where around 16,000 Nazi scientists were drafted to work on US government projects. The reason why the US government did this was because they didn't want the Nazi scientists falling into the USSR. They feared this would strengthen the USSR and lead to them winning the Cold War. So many of these Nazi scientists worked on space programs in the USA for NASA. And some say without Operation Paperclip, the USSR may have got to the moon before the USA did. One of the German engineers who worked for NASA during Project Paperclip made the V2 rocket. The V2 rocket was developed by Germany during World War II, and it's thought to have taken around 10,000 lives. So, some of the Germans responsible for the most devastation during World War II ended up working for NASA. Next up is UFO Livestreams. So, if you've seen any of my UFO caught on camera videos, you'll know that sometimes UFOs are caught on live streams. But these aren't just any old live stream from a UFO theorist. No, these are from NASA themselves in the International Space Station. NASA have many webcams filming live on the International Space Station. You can actually watch these on NASA's website and on YouTube. But there have been several instances where UFO have gone past the camera and every time NASA has cut the feed. Every time people ask about why NASA cuts the feed every time a UFO comes into frame, they say they're simply doing maintenance. But don't you think it's a funny coincidence that they do maintenance every time a UFO comes into frame? Many UFO believers say this is clear evidence of NASA covering up UFOs. I have to say it is very suspicious and I cannot put my finger on why they would do this either. But what do you think? Are there really UFOs flying around that NASA is covering up? Or are NASA honestly doing maintenance every time a UFO seems to appear on their live streams? Next up we have life on Mars. Many debate whether there really is life on Mars. 
Well, according to one NASA employee who worked on the Viking Mars rover project in 1979, there is. In 2014, an ex-NASA worker finally went public with what happened in 1979. While her and a few others were working on the Viking Mars rover project, they encountered two humanoid figures. These two humanoid figures walked up to the rover wearing thin protective spacesuits. The woman and her co-workers manning the rover left the room running to tell someone. But when they came back, they found their room was locked. This encounter was covered up by NASA and they never once commented on it. To this day, NASA remains silent on it. They don't admit it and they don't deny it, they're simply silent on the matter. But the NASA employee claims her and her co-workers really did have this encounter with two humanoid figures. It truly really makes you think, is there life on Mars? Leave a comment to letting me know what you guys think. Next up, we have insurance. If you get injured at work, you have insurance, right? Your employer will often cover whatever happens to you in the workplace. That's especially the case if you do a dangerous job, such as a building job or a factory job. Well, something NASA really wishes you didn't know is that astronauts do not have life insurance. That's right, astronauts doing dangerous off-planet missions did not have life insurance. During Apollo 11, when Neil Armstrong was going to the moon, he was very worried about this. He actually had to sign autographs for his family so that they had something to sell in the event he didn't make it back. Otherwise, they wouldn't have any money and they wouldn't be able to live. How crazy is it his family would have to sell his autograph simply to make any money? I really think NASA should give their brave astronauts life insurance. After all, the NASA budget is around 19 billion dollars. And I'm pretty sure State Farm doesn't have a policy for going to the moon. Next up, we have hacked. So we've already established NASA have billions of dollars. They also have the most high-tech computers and technology on Earth. And they house many very sensitive documents about the USA, security, and you. Well, that's why you may be very surprised to learn that NASA is actually a very easy target for hackers. Believe it or not, many times NASA has been hacked. In 2001, a man in the UK broke into NASA's secret files. He was trying to look for evidence of UFOs. Apparently, he did actually find evidence of UFOs, but he didn't save it. What he did do, however, was leave them a Word document telling their security was terrible. I'm sure whoever looked at the NASA computers the next day and saw that had their jaw drop. But isn't it surprising that a guy in the UK can simply hack NASA? He said it was very easy for him to do and only took a few hours. It really makes you think, just how secret are these secret government documents? You really would not want some of those falling into the wrong hands. Coming up next, we have Take a Sip. So, we all know that astronauts have space food, which is all fun, right? But you may be wondering, what do astronauts drink? Obviously, there's no taps to grab some water on a space station. Well, NASA astronauts actually drink their own pee. But don't worry, they don't do it Bear grill style. They actually have a machine that recycles urine and converts it into drinking water. This is located in the International Space Station. And while it is clean, it definitely does give you that unhygienic feeling. Russian astronauts actually refuse to drink this water. And NASA scientists often joke that that's why they're more advanced than Russian astronauts. I'm not entirely sure about the logic behind that one. But let me know, would you drink pee even if it's converted to clean water or not? Next up is Moon Landing Mysteries. Apollo 11 is one of the most amazing things ever done by mankind. They walked on the moon, which is literally out of this world. However, some say Apollo 11 is incredible, as in not credible. That's right, there are many strange things which suggest the moon landing could have been totally faked. The main reason the USA went to the moon was to win the space race against the Soviets. This was to flex their muscles and look better than the USSR. However, the Soviets were first to send a satellite to the moon. This suggests maybe they would have a better chance of getting to the moon first. Also, the original tapes of the moon landing mysteriously disappeared. Apparently, they were taped over, which seems very unlikely to me. But that is the official storyline NASA says. This has led to many to say Apollo 11 was all staged, and many claim it was filmed in the Nevada desert. Also, the waving flag, despite there being no wind on the moon, is another very strange, unexplained thing. But let me know in the comments, do you think the moon landing is real or fake? Whatever's going on, there sure is some things NASA simply wishes we did not know. And it makes you wonder how many other things NASA keeps us in the dark about. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most amazing thing NASA doesn't want you to know. I think it's the Challenger cover-up, as that is really worrying. If you guys want more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment, and I do show my face in a few of those videos. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.